All right, uh, this is a screencast from the iOS app creation from OETC 12. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we are going to create the OETC app, OETC 12 app that was in the session. And to get started, we need to open up Xcode. So if we open up Spotlight here, and I, I always use Spotlight instead of the dock bar, and do Xcode. Go ahead and get it open. Okay, so we've got it open here. Let's do file, new project. So now we've got a uh, Xcode open. We're gonna go ahead and select the single view application. If you remember from the session, we selected the empty application. Um, but by selecting the single view application, it will already have our main storyboard created and our first single view or root view um, for our application. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next and go ahead and name this app OETC12. And obviously we're gonna keep the defaults here. Uh, we're gonna use the storyboard and an automatic reference counting to take control of our memory usage. We'll go ahead and create it in a directory we see fit. We'll go ahead and click create. And now that it is open, you will see it has some of our main uh, files here, our main storyboard and our default view controllers. We're gonna go ahead and click on the main storyboard and if you look we've got just the one view here okay we're gonna just select that and hit the delete button we do not need that anymore we're actually gonna use a navigation controller uh, for our app so we can click and drag the navigation controller down here and you can see it gives us uh, two little screens for our application um, this here would be our main screen right screen here will be our main screen for application we're just going to double click on the root view controller and change the name to OETC12 and we'll hit enter to set that if you notice here this view uh, it has no class associated to it now we do have a view controller class here in our dot h and dot f m files they have a lot of the default uh, methods that come with a single view or a view controller for iOS so what we're going to do here is set our main screen we're going to set the class to view controller which this view controller here in the drop down matches that view controller so if we go ahead and save that we're going to go ahead and run it and once it builds it should come up in our iOS emulator with our navigation header OETC12 on the app there it is as you can see we've got OECT, OETC12 uh, the, in our session we talked about go ahead and stop that the main navigation here uh, looking at this main screen um, and making it look similar to Facebook's previous iOS app which was all buttons uh, so in order to add a button to our main screen we're going to go down here in our objects inspector and we are gonna look for just a rounded rect button so we're gonna click that and drag it to our screen here and you can keep it that well a little wider and we'll just call the text web view and right now this is just a button not tied to anything so what we need to do is create a new view inside our storyboard here and 
try and link them together. So I'm going to scroll up here in our objects inspector. We're going to just drag a new view controller to our storyboard. And we are literally just going to look for the web view in our objects inspector. So we're going to scroll down here and look for web view. We wanted to cover the whole page or the whole uh, view in this app. So we're going to just click and drag and it should default to the size of the screen, which is fine. That's exactly what we want. Okay. So now that we've got, we'll go ahead and save that. Now that we've got a web view, we need to create the view controller class to go to go with it so I'm gonna click on my projects here and do file new file and we're it's gonna be a subclass of UI view controller click next make sure Subclass of UI view controller, and let's call it the ET or the ETech view controller because it's just going to be a web view of the OETC conference guide, mobile conference guide. So let's call it ETech web viewer, and it is a subclass of UI view controller. Let's go ahead and click next, and we'll just select the OETC 12 folder and click create and finish drag this down here and there's a couple things here in regards to our our web view and our storyboard so if we have this view controller here uh, we, you notice we have a web view which is uh, an outlet in iOS uh, all of iOS and Objective C and that is uh, basically want to output anything to that outlet that web view outlet so if we go in our code here for the ETC view controller we are going to create an IB outlet of UI web view I'm just going to copy and paste from another screen here. Make this go a little quicker. Paste. And we have to set a property. We talked about a um, auto reference counting. Um, in previous versions of iOS, we had to do the non atomic retain, meaning it was a retainable object. That we had to we had to keep uh, reference counting in our in memory of where it was and how many whether we were gonna get rid of it or keep it in memory. Uh, so this is more of a backwards compatible uh, defining a property. But one thing we also need to note in the web view is we're actually gonna delegate this web view um, to accept. A URL from that's passed in via uh, anything that we are we have defined. So because this, we are delegating this as an uh, as an outlet, we also have to add UI Web View Delegate uh, to our .h file. So with that said, we will go ahead and go over to our .m. And there are some very basic things we have to do um, inside our .m file. Um, one, of the, one of the main things is we have to create our getters and setters. And we can manually create those, or uh, in iOS, we can do the, or Objective C, we can do the synthesize and do web view. So that there creates our getters and setters inside our .m file. Um, for our eTech view controller. 
one of the things here um, that comes standard in I, uh, Objective C or iOS is the view did load. Okay, and this we're going to unco uncomment this, and this is what's going to happen once the view is loaded. Uh, we are basically pushing out information to the view and how it looks programmatically in our .m file. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy and paste a couple things here to kind of uh, make this go along a little quicker. I'll explain what's going on. Uh, we are creating this NS string. We're going to create a URL address of m.guidebook.com forward slash 660 and this is our web address that we want to push t in our web view we are taking this string and creating a NS URL out of it NS URL URL with string URL address right here and we're also taking we're creating a request object to push towards that web view that has a load request method that will load our request object or URL into our view so I'm going to save that and we go back to our storyboard here and we currently do not have if I can get selected here we do not have a class or a view controller tied to this uh, this object or uh, the screen in the in the storyboard so select the whole view and right here in our class inspector we're going to scroll down and actually scroll up we're going to look for the eTech view controller and there it is uh, so we are saying we are tying our eTech view controller code to this screen so now that it's there what we need to do is we're going to tie this button our web view button to our view our eTech view controller so I'm going to click it once hold down the control key click and drag over and we want to push the screen over top our main screen which is the segue that we want uh, in our app okay we're just gonna call we're gonna put a uh, name at this at the top and we'll call it oh we'll just call it etech One thing, uh, we have a delegate inspector here, and if you notice, we have a web view or a web view outlet that's not tied to anything. Okay, so this is out this web view outlet is inside our class but we do have a UI web view inside our screen here so we need to tie this uh, together so on the web view outlets I going to hover over the radio button you see a plus sign if you hit con if you click on it and drag over to the web view ties the two together and we'll have our inf information in regards to the URL that's being passed into our web view so if I save that and run in our emulator we've got our main screen and our web view button so I'm going to go ahead and click web view it push, pushes over our web view uh, that we created inside our code uh, that's it for the first session. The next one will, the, ne the next screencast will be on uh, the contact list. Thank you.